Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today's episode, we're going to be drawing a tree. Trees are not that difficult to draw. You can just make a little stick and then a circle on top and say it's a tree. We're going to try to do a little bit better, though, today. It shouldn't be that difficult, so if you follow along, maybe we'll all draw a tree. Well, let's start with the trunk. And the trunk shouldn't go up too far on your page because you're going to want to leave room for the leaf and uh, branch area of the tree. So you're going to start by making one line. And it doesn't have to be a straight line. But at the very end, it should curve to the left. Now do the same thing on the other side, but at the bottom, curve to the right. And this is the trunk of the tree, and this is the part of the tree that has roots, the part that goes into the ground. So the next thing we're going to need for this tree is branches. So I'm going to start by putting a branch right here, and branches are basically made by making thicker shapes that get a little bit narrower, and then they can branch off like that. Couple more. We'll put one right here. Like I said, you start with a thicker shape, you get a little bit narrower. And then they can just branch off like that. So if the two lines go farther apart from each other, you can just make it two branches instead of one, which is kind of the way nature does it. And I'm not going to make too many branches today because we don't want this video to be too long, but you can make as many as you want, obviously. It's your tree. So now that you have a couple of branches, what I'd like you to do is make a circle or the shape of your choosing around the branch area. But don't use a straight line. Use a jaggedy curved line like this. And honestly, it doesn't really matter how even or uneven it is. It's supposed to represent the edges of leaves. And we're almost there. It's already starting to look like a tree. Here's a trick I'd like to show you right now. If you make little curved lines right where these branches hit the tree, like that, it gives it the look of leaves covering the end of the branch. That's a simple trick I think we can all use. I'm just going to make a jagged line between there to show leaves. And you can represent these leaves by either making tiny little leaf shapes all over the place and filling it up, or you can just represent them by making little curved lines like that. Since my pen is not doing very well today, I'm going to need a new one, I guess. And all you're really doing is just coming up with some random areas and looking for a little bit of balance where you can just put a couple of leaves and say, okay, that's what this all is. Then to give it some depth, you're going to want to give it extra leaves on the bottom, a little more detail as if it's closer to you. we go. Now we're just making little curves with the pen or pencil or crayon or whatever it is that you're using at home. And we're just kind of covering the bottom of the tree here like that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the bark for the trunk of the tree. I like to start by adding a knot or two 
and that can be simply done by making a shape like that sort of rounded diamond and then filling it in and that gives you something for the bark lines if that's what they're called the striations in the side of the tree gives it something to kind of go around when you're making them and that's all you really have to do is just make little lines and if you want to get more detailed you can go and look up different kinds of tree barks and figure out what the different kinds of patterns you would draw and to finish off our picture we're just going to make a little bit of grass right around the tree like that and here we are we have a tree thank you very much if you enjoyed this video please hit the like the share buttons um, Subscribe to this channel and hopefully we'll be able to draw a lot of pictures together. What kind of tree did you draw today? Why don't you leave a comment down below this video and let me know. Or send me a link and maybe I can share some of the pictures that you the audience are drawing. Thanks again. Until next time, it's Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!